Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. What could possibly be more important than taking selfies and posting, oh, I'm holding my phone upside down, whatever, you guys get the point, and posting Valencia to Instagram photos of your food. That's right, 360, oh, I just unplugged the table. No scopes and sick montages. You don't need to go to school, you don't need to go to work, you can just stream games all day from your mother's basement. Wheels? from your mother's basement. That is a negative gamer stereotype. And um, actually, not all gamers are in their mother's basements. So I think that you should just be um, more respectful of gamers and their basements and their hygiene, which you actually didn't bring up, but you were thinking it. Okay, so silly jokes aside, game streaming is turning into a big deal, whether it's for entertainment or to actually make money doing it. So we get a lot of questions. How do I stream my games? Well, today we'll be, we'll, we will be comparing two very similar and yet somehow different approaches. A traditional capture card versus NVIDIA's Shadow Play technology built into their newest graphics card. So first up, is the AverMedia Live Gamer Portable. It's portable because every gamer loves to stream while outdoors. At least the male ones do. Otherwise, you gotta squat. But seriously, portable means that it is simply a standalone external capture card with support for recording even without a PC, and it all powers off of a single USB port. So yes, for all you console gamers out there, all you PC gamers, you can record footage directly onto an SD card or onto a computer, whatever you want. The Live Gamer Portable features recording and streaming with a maximum resolution of 1920 by 1080 at 30 FPS, 60 megabit. This means very high quality footage, but unfortunately for the PC master race folks who are used to higher frame rates, the footage might not be quite as smooth as you'd like. But unless you like to watch yourself all day long, most popular video hosting sites such as YouTube are capped at 30 FPS anyway. Hardware-wise, it has a built-in H.264 encoder that handles compression, and you can save in either MP4 or .ts format. There's an HDMI and 3.5mm audio jack pass-through, so there is little to no lag added. And lastly, there is a very large, brightly lit button on the capture card itself, which makes it very easy to start or stop your recording, as well as giving you a nice large status indicator. Blue is for standby, red is for recording. If you're recording on your PC, AverMedia recommends a dual core processor as a minimum for streaming and recording with at least four gigs of RAM. The entire unit, as I said before, is powered by just a traditional five volt, one amp USB connection. And I believe it's actually 500 milliamp, way to go. Software wise, the Live Gamer Portable comes with the Rec Central Suite, which has a very intuitive and easy to use interface for recording or streaming. It can integrate your accounts and stream directly onto many popular sites such as Twitch, Ustream, and YouTube Live. You can easily monitor and control your stream, but you do miss out on some of the more advanced features such as scene selection, graphics overlays, webcams, and uh, or program hiding. Moving on, NVIDIA, sh NVIDIA. <laughs> NVIDIA Shadow Play is another option for recording or streaming content with very little impact on performance. Compared to traditional methods such as Fraps, XSplit, or Open Broadcaster software, Shadow Play will offload almost all of the work directly to your video card's hardware encoder, leaving you with a performance hit of less than 5%. You can learn more about Shadow Play in our video here. By far, the best feature of Shadow Play is shadow recording, where just like a PVR, it keeps a buffer of footage that is constantly being recorded. So if something amazing happens that you want to save, you simply press a hotkey and it can record up to the last 20 minutes. Unlike Aver Media Capture Cards, NVIDIA Shadow Play can record at any resolution you play at. However, if you record at higher resolutions such as 4K, it will be down sampled to 2560 by 1600 max. Maximum frame rate is 60 FPS with a bitrate of 50 megabit, and you have the choice to record game audio or game audio with your own microphone mixed in as well. Don't worry about talking the whole time though, push to talk has been enabled in the most recent version of the software, which NVIDIA has continued to update. Currently, Shadowplay supports streaming directly to Twitch with automatic optimization for optimal settings based on your computer hardware and network connection. And Shadowplay also uses H.264 encoding, but it will only save to MP4. Overall, 
We were impressed with both solutions. They've come a long way since the old days when we were repurposing professional grade capture equipment in order to game stream with like just goofy stuff, like no automatic detection of the resolution and frame rate that things were coming in at and blue screens every time you try to change things. I'm looking at you, black magic. Anyway, they each have their pros and cons, but the end result is very similar. They will both record great quality footage with minimal impact on your gaming experience. However, if streaming is your primary concern, then a capture card such as the Live Gamer Portable may be the better choice. While Shadowplay works great for recording and can stream to other software, it's still a little bit too buggy in its current iteration to really rely on it for your job. We noticed that using OBS with straight H.264 encoding gives us a smoother stream with better performance. Now, although Shadowplay can stream directly to Twitch, it's very bare bones and lacks many of the features found in other streaming software such as XSplit. As well, a capture card will work for any HDMI source, including consoles or cameras. So as some of our fans saw on our MakerBot Replicator 2 live stream, we streamed it using a camcorder passed through the AverMedia Live Gamer Portable into our computer. This is something that can really come in handy if you want to take your quality to the next level on your stream and instead of using a USB webcam, use uh, a DSLR or some other kind of much better looking camera for your face. So you can just pick up like multiples of these versus you can only have so many graphics cards that stream exactly what's on your screen. Now, for those of you worried about lag, the AverMedia really is a nearly lag-free experience. The HDMI pass-through introduced no, nothing that was noticeable to the, to the naked eye in terms of input and display lag, and it really was a fantastic way of capturing footage. However, gamers who play Twitch games like CSGO and Twitch strategy games like StarCraft might want to consider Shadowplay for the performance hit, the small performance hit, without any additional display lag. Now, keep in mind that for either of these solutions, you will want to record on a dedicated drive preferably an SSD if you're going for high bitrate, high resolution recording. If not, you are likely to get stuttering either in your game or recording or both. So in conclusion, if you currently have a Kepler-based NVIDIA card, that is GTX 650 and higher, and want to give live streaming or recording a try, then Shadowplay is a fantastic option that won't cost you anything to set up and is very quick to get going. If you're a Radeon user or plan on streaming more heavily, then I definitely suggest investing in a dedicated capture card such as the AverMedia Live Gamer Portable or the less portable Game Capture HD 2. And remember, guys, there's no reason that you can't have multiple solutions going at the same time. Shadow plays a great feature for that DVR-like functionality, so you could always have this recording to capture things that you don't see coming, and then use this when you want to get the, the highest quality footage and the most possible flexibility. Editing's wonderful, and you can do all kinds of things in editing, so I'm told. I don't know much about video editing myself, though. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. As always, stay NCIX Tech Tips for more videos like this from NCIX.com.